We're back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Glad to say we uh, can now look at what the papers have for us this morning. Our guest analyst, uh, legal practitioner, Tunde Kolawale, is standing by uh, to do justice to the headlines of the pages of today's national dailies. Uh, Tunde Kolawale, thank you very much for your time and good morning. Uh, good morning for having me. Hope you have a great night. Yes, it's a new day. We thank God for a new day. <laughs> and how about you? How about you? Well, so okay, just that uh, the electric power supply is still affecting us. All right. Well, Baris, I can tell you that there are some parts of Lagos that are enjoying near 24 hours power supply or 24 hour power supply. I do not know what the magic is for them. Um, I don't know how, how that is. But we, we just pray that things get better. You know, things get better, especially in the face of uh, the high cost of, of, of petrol. We pray things get better. All right. Um, let's start by looking at the stories on the front page of The Punch. Um, quite colorful as usual, and it has um, uh, a focus on the new Naira deadline. Today is the 25th of January, counting down to the, 20, the 31st of January. And let's not forget, yesterday, after the... Uh, the Monetary Policy Committee meeting at the post-MPC meeting briefing, the CBN governor said um, he has no good news for those who want the deadline to be extended. <laughs> uh, but the, the headline on the front page of uh, The Punch, uh, Kanu, Ondo, Anambra, Depositors, Flood Banks with Old Notes. Uh, CBN shuns National Assembly, insists on January 31 cash swap deadline. EFCC, ICPC won't arrest huge uh, depositors, uh, says the Mayfield shares bank customers, and so people can take their billions to the bank. Nobody will be arrested. Uh, central bank officials, POS agents, set up rural cash exchange points. But I, I heard somewhere uh, from the CBN yesterday that um, POS agents are not allowed to do the cash swap. I don't know how that uh, you know relates with this recent or latest uh, headline more from the punch fg raises a 14-man panel to end fuel scarcity interest rate hike job losses crisis loom warns ops they increase the rate um the monetary policy rate by 100 um, benchmark basis sorry basis points they increase the benchmark interest rate by 100 basis points to 17.5 percent yesterday uh, more from the punch, traders lament as Okoa shuts markets for Atiku. Uh, Lagos projects 7.5 million train passengers monthly. Quite interesting. Um, Labor knocks as governors or knocks governors as states reject local government autonomy. I think they're talking about Labor as a pair of Labor unions and not Labor Party. <laughs> Islamic teacher bags. Life jail for defiling eight pupils and the World Health Organization worries over fresh 170,000 COVID-19 deaths. A picture on the front page uh, of residents of uh, residents of Kautungo and Dambata, local government areas, swapping their old Nara notes with new ones in Gombe and Kano states on Tuesday. Um, the CBN official in Gombe State had earlier uh, alleged that banks were hoarding this money because they said they had enough for the 3.5 million residents of Gombe uh, and there needs to be no scarcity from the banking angle. Let's go on to the next paper, this time Daily Trust, with the following headlines. Buhari chairs 14-man committee as fuel scarcity worsens. Buhari chairs 14-man committee as fuel scarcity worsens. DSS, Customs, EFCC, others, members. President racing against time, experts. Hawkers sell petrol for 500 naira per litre in Abuja and 600 naira in Ondo. I can tell you for free that someone told me, a member of the public told me last night that he saw um, 900 naira per litre at a petrol station in Ondo. Um, will the sky fall on our heads? Only time will tell. Um, as far as this committee is concerned, the paper says that President Buhari is the chairman of that uh, steering committee, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timipre Silva, is the alternate chairman 
of that committee. I think that says one or two things about whether the president will be hands-on with that committee or not. Let's go on. Constitution review. State assemblies reject financial autonomy for local governments. New Naira notes. National Assembly may feel the fair on deadline extension. Uh, Gombe governorship. Court dismisses PDP's suit seeking to disqualify Governor Inua Yahaya. PSC orders retiring police officers to go. CBN debunks 89 trillion Naira stamp duty claim. Says 370.686 billion naira collected by banks. Um, Buhari Senatorial District, Keita, Daura, set for epic battle. And a funny one from the Daily Trust, woman quits marriage, marries daughter's boyfriend in Kado. Wonders shall never end. Quite amusing. All right, let's go to the next paper. The Nation goes big with a, a political story on its front page. The lead headline there, Senators' reps draw battle line with CBN over Naira notes. Lawmakers seek six-month extension. Tuesday deadline, sacrosanct, Apex Bank insists. More from the nation, legislature, judiciary, autonomy bills, ready for Buhari's assent. Legislature, judiciary, autonomy bills, ready for Buhari's assent. Wiki, we won't campaign for a tiku. Wiki, we won't campaign for a tiku. I think we may have already known that some months ago. I don't know if our guests will agree. We'll hear from him. Governor Abdul Rasak Sachs, Provost, uh, retire if you're due. PSC orders DIGs, AIGs. Abia to enjoy export hub or export hub status, says Tinubu. And tribunal fixes Friday for verdict in Oyotola versus Adeleke. President heads 14-man patrol uh, crisis panel. Uh, some of the stories on the front page of the nation. The final paper this morning is The Guardian. And the lead story there, like the nation, they go with the uh, CBN new NARA or old NARA deadline. It says, um, old NARA notes, CBN insists on January 31 deadline, Sean's calls uh, for extension. Buhari appoints Arase as PSC boss as a former IGP amid furore over IGP's tenor elongation. FG reinstates COVID-19 travel protocol. More countries restrict Chinese travelers. Expect earlier than normal onset of rainfall floods in 2023, NAMIT warns. Dangote Refinery, not part of projects for Buhari's commissioning, IPC seeks safety for journalists ahead of 2023 polls. And Buhari keeps mum. Buhari keeps mum. Commissions Blue Line Rail J Randall Center. You can find out more from the paper uh, by what, on what they mean by Buhari keeps mum. Anyway, maybe they mean that he didn't say much at the commissioning, um, like we saw in the tape there. Uh, uh, to the call, over to you. What are your thoughts on, on the way the... Uh, the nation put the Guardian uh, put it. You know they are highlighting the fact the president didn't say much uh, when he commissioned the Blue Line Rail and the J Randall Center. Well, for me, uh, the inauguration of the Blue Line or whatever they call it is a welcome development. Uh, ultimately, uh, this is something we should have had more than 30, 40 years ago. We will recollect that uh, between 1979 and 1983, I like that that can be, uh, say, two for a metro which uh, when uh, General Muhammad was the government, they can't do the contract, we lost the metro, we lost the money we paid uh, for the metro, and then we also take it to an international court, where Nigeria was also penalized for breach of uh, contract. If in the second corner of the Ramon we are not going to have to move the blue line in the country. I think uh, that uh, speaks to the memory of the metro that we know under a light light in that country. But let me also say the project is not moving as fast as the one we have expected. Also, it's not my best thing now. Now, I'm going to see you now. It's an open technology. Why do I say this? A country like Egypt has 
they awarded the contract for a bullet and train and to charge me as, as much as 250 kilometers per hour. That is the kind of uh, program I think should be investing in. And not this obsolete locomotive uh, uh, technology. Nobody is using those technologies again in Europe. France is even building a new uh, train now, which is said to be faster than an uh, aeroplane, such that uh, in the near future, most people will prefer to be traveling in the new train that the French people are uh, developing. Nigeria has the resources to go modern. And uh, when you invest in obsolete technology, you are setting your best back as a nation, as a country, by more than much as a 50 years, which has not really been due to change. But well, at uh, least it is um, uh, a forward movement, so to say, uh, in order we want to see the authority to invest in um, modern technology and also let it go as far as uh, it is possible. By now, certainly, we have a real linking. Also, due to Kuru, from Kuru to Shakaho. We should be having a rail line linking Marina to Lucky Ete Axis. By now, we should be having a rail line linking uh, Marina to Bagadi and then to Seme. This is where you can find economic activity in all these places. Such that Lagos will have become the home or the center of commerce in West Africa. And then there is going to be less pressure on the on the road because the heavy duty trucks that apply this road and that would not allow those uh, roads to last uh, as well that they should last because those heavy duty materials, those goods and services are not supposed to be carried by road, but better carried by rail or by by the uh, airline. All right, Chundiko, thank you very much. Uh, uh, let's uh, stay with the um, the Guardian, um, the lead story on the front page, uh, saying CBN is insisting uh, on the January third uh, 31 deadline, uh, shunning the call for extension. The National Assembly is inviting, I think the Senate invited, uh, the House of Reps or the Senate, one of them invited yesterday, is inviting the CEOs of commercial banks, uh, private sector banks, to come and tell them why the, they don't have the Naira with them. Um, either of the House of Reps or Senate is saying also that uh, the CBN should extend it to July 31. You know, that was, this was from plenary yesterday. Uh, senator Lee Ndume said he hasn't seen the new notes, even as a senator, he hasn't seen them. Uh, so what, what are your thoughts? Immediately address the press and he says he would like to apologize, um, but he's sorry to disappoint anyone uh, that he has no good news for those who want an extension of the deadline. He also said that 90 days uh, was more than enough for anyone who has an old note to return it to the bank and uh, exchange it for a new note. Now, we can juxtapose this with the fact that, yes, people are complaining that they can't see the new notes, but officials of CBN in different parts of the country, like Port Harcourt, like Kano, like Gombe, are saying that they've put billions of naira into the system and the banks have the money. So should we be, what are your thoughts on all this that we've, that's playing out so far? Yeah, uh, uh, like I said before, on this our program, it is shocking to me that the people is investing in the designing of the new Naira note or in providing the mission to the new Naira note. I thought, even from their own program, what they should be pursuing is a cashless policy, which uh, is the in thing uh, all over the world today. People are now using plastic uh, money and some other forms of the money and that are more durable, that are easy to carry, and that are easy to move around, and also transact businesses. But in the wisdom of the CBN, they have decided to invest in the design of the new home of the law of the NARA. Well, they started the project already. What one expects from them is um, a program that is going to be free, that is going to be convenient to all Nigeria, and that is also going to have some value to the Naira that we currently use in Nigeria. So from the way it seems, I'm not too sure that the CBN has done its own work properly before embarking on this project. Just like you said, when you still go to some of these banks today, it is the old Naira note that um, the ATM machines are still dispensing. And when you make inquiries in those places, they will tell you that the CBN has not been able to punish them 
with enough of the new or enough of the new design uh, uh, Naira note. So if you say 31st of January is the deadline and you are not making the new Naira note available, how will you be able to enforce the deadline? Well, it might be that is fair that maybe the student is trying to use this new redesigning of the new Naira note to kind of uh, way manage things so that we have in the country today. Uh, as right now, if as less people are able to extend their own Naira note uh, for the new one, they probably lose those Naira notes, those Naira notes. And when they lose the new, the old Naira note, that means less money in calculation. So in a way, yeah, it, it might be an instrument to really um, tackle the inflation that we have uh, the country. The CDA may be having information that uh, maybe too many people. They uh, have told us uh, so much Naira notes, which they have cashed out, so which they are not putting translation. It is also not impossible. There are too many counterfeit Naira notes out there in the market. So to be able to address some of those issues, they may have engaged in this discussion of the new Naira notes, and then to shut the door of the exchange of the Naira notes by 31st of uh, January uh, 2023. Then to, to the tango. That is going on between the National Assembly, the Senate, and also the CPN and all that. I have said this time without the number. The National Assembly, especially the Senate, and the House of Representatives, is the most powerful organ in the country. They are even more powerful than Mr. President. So when the Senate or the House of Rest, someone very near arm of the executive arm of government, they will not lie on the arm of the executive government. So they came to answer to whatever cause may be coming from the National Assembly. When you disrespect the National Assembly, the entire Nigeria will be that you disrespect. Like I say, the ground norm, that is the official authority, the utmost power of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, lies in hands of the National Assembly people. So it is not a captain that should be taken with the legacy, or that anybody should be silent, or that anybody should not take their cause. When they make it call to um, the first person. Uh, uh, Besides, without number, we are paying people to present the National Assembly without clear consequences uh, uh, following such a uh, disobedience. And it's the National Assembly people that are blamed. Besides, when people you disrespect your call, when people refuse to appear before you, when you give instruction to people also the victim of government, if I have such things and they refuse to do it, then you apply the rod. So that you will know where the ultimate power lies in the Federal Republic of uh, Nigeria. Where, as it, to some of the states that you mentioned, it's not just up north. In uh, places like Kwara and places like Dele, there are so many remote villages that don't even know that to say that uh, the Naira has been designed and that they require to take their own Naira note to the, to the bank and exchange it for the new ones and what have you. We also remember the that uh, there are so many villages and rural areas in Nigeria that they don't have banks. They don't, uh, in the past, we used to have the community banks. But uh, lo and behold, due to our inability to sustain institutions, right. all those community banks also uh, 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 okay. uh, went down the drain and all that. All right. so they call well, it's it's a very, yeah. very serious problem okay. uh, that I think uh, the spirit of students is lifting all right. to the people in the National Assembly and also lifting. So the people in some of these platform places, especially the governors in the north and the south, so that people will not lose their hard earned money. All right, to the economy that they have worked for. Yes. After all, in some other countries of the world, when monies are even paid, ten years there, if you seek a new hand on your own note, you still take it to their bank and they take it. Because right. they consider that let's move on. You've said it all. You've said it all. Uh, I'm sorry I have to uh, move faster because of, of time. So you can give us your expert opinion on other stories. But you've said it all, that the CBN needs to listen to the voice of the people as well, um, try and have some balance in all of this. Um, and I think you've, you've painted a real picture, talking about the rural areas and how the truth is that people will lose out because of the... Uh, non-availability of uh, banks, financial institutions, and even the Naira notes where you have banks and new Naira notes. Let, let us move on to another one. I'd like to take your thoughts on what's going on between the Police Savings Commission and the Nigeria Police Force. Because on the front page of The Guardian, uh, it has a story at the bottom. 
Buhari appoints Arase, that's former IGP Arase, as PSC, Police Service Commission boss, uh, amid furore over IGP's tenor elongation. If we swipe to the Nation newspaper on the top left corner, you can see a story there. Uh, retire if you are due. PSC orders DIGs, AIGs. What are your thoughts on this um, issue, the ongoing issue between the Police Service Commission and the police? It's not the first time we've had something similar, but this time it's about tenor elongation. If you are the law that says when you attain this certain level, either you have spent 60 years in service, I mean, or either you have spent 30, each time you are 60 years old, or you have spent 35 years in service, for God's sake, you must respect that law, you must obey that law, and bow out of the service uh, very uh, quickly, without finding ways and means to begin to extend the in your tenor. When people begin to send your tenor, they are tenors and what are happy. They assume that they know it's better, that they are out of 200 million and there are no other capital persons that can replace them. And I say the answer is no. Out of every aspect of every GI, out of every IT, out of every civil servant that you have, out of 200 other million and there who are already and who have the capacity and the fact, take it to their shoes. When they retire from the civil party, this uh, incessant, uh, 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 I mean, this uh, continuous uh, erosion of the law and the displeasure for people to extend their tenor should not be tolerated at all. There is no substitution for it. Nigeria is big enough, it is talented enough, quite capable and to, to replace whoever may be retiring. As regards the report, <laughs> And then the IT of police and all that. I think there's a federal court of appeal, a ruling, which says that the ultimate authority in the police service commission. Why the IT should disobey the police service commission? This is my imagination. You will remember when they were going to recruit constables and what have you. The IT went to uh, and did it in a solo manner and so without reference to the police service commission. And the police have been called under Muslim police, went to the court, and then uh, they lost at um, the high court, and then they went to the court of appeal, and I think the court of appeal uh, found in their paper and said that the right of police uh, should be uh, to the police service commission in whatever state they want to take, in that part of recruitment or in terms of discipline of the right and file of uh, the exam police. The case is certainly before the Supreme Court. So, the outcome of that case, the public can be able to say completely, this is where the law, this is where the pendulum of the law, the law, and change that and the lie. Then we say the appointment of another policeman as a term of police service commission. Honestly speaking, I am not comfortable with it. I am not happy with it. This is uh, the law. I would have prepared a situation in which you retire. Why do I say this? It is for people to have checks and balances. It is kind of moderating influence. You will know a retired court judge knows about law, knows about fundamental science, and will know how to apply uh, the law when it comes to discipline and promotion of um, uh, the rank of five policemen. And with the AI, with the IT, they will be looking at the issues, particularly from the perspective of the police act. Not from, uh, from the court. And then not from the president that are coming from the different courts. Uh, 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 that we want to see a situation in which the law will be made. And then the high court judge or a senior lawyer will be made to help the police commission. In fact, I have made a prognosis in the past that uh, nobody should be made a divisional police officer, nobody should be made an area commander, nobody should be made. Um, a commissioner of police or AIG or CIG without the input of the community in which they want to start. We see too much abuse, abuse too much infraction on the fundamental rights of the Nigerian people simply because the police are not accountable to the, to the Nigerian people that pay their salary and then that give them the, 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 the work with. 
you must be able to call this impunity uh, that is coming from the police. And then you can call the impunity. You can make sure that the civilian begin to act. The police uh, work on these different places. When there are vacancies at the VPO level, when there are vacancies at the area commander level, when there are vacancies at the AI, and then the commissioner of police or whatever I say, what are you? The position should be advertised, okay. and people should apply, whether civilians who are in law, who are in criminology, who are in religion and all that. And it's still conducted for God's purpose. And whoever went, um, carries the day. The only area which civilians may not act is the operational arms of the police. Every other arm of the police is, uh, I would say, administrative. Okay. For example, the forensic, uh, the forensic uh, department of the Nigeria police. You don't have to be a policeman to be able to head the no. forensic arm of the Nigeria police. All right. You don't have to be a, 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 a policeman to be able to head the administrative section of the Nigerian uh, police. It is only the operational arm which should require a civil policeman, a professional policeman, to be able to head. So, like I continue to say, until we put the police in the hands of the Nigerian people, we are never going to have a police that is accountable, that is responsible, that okay. has to accept for the rule of law. All right. And all the judicial killing that we begin to see all over the place will not affect until we now begin to put the police in the hands of the Nigerian uh, uh, people. All that right. is the way it is done. So they call all uh, th thank you very much. We, that we, we, we are out of time. And we cannot close our eyes to all these things. Thank you so much, sir. We're out of time. We wish we had a time to take more stories. There's a couple of stories I really would love to get to them. But we will definitely have the pleasure of your uh, presence next week right here on The Breakfast. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, my brother. All right. It's, uh, we'll th have a great day. Thank you very much. Absolutely, absolutely. It's three days and 15 hours, 54 minutes, and about 18 seconds to the deadline uh, of the, for the PV's collection. I think we'll have time to discuss that with you, with you uh, in the next News of Power Review segment, hopefully. Uh, thank you so much for your time. We have uh, to thank take you. a break. Thank you, sir. We have to take a break. Now, when we return, we will look at our first major conversation. Um, very, very important discussion on tax collection. We also have a discussion on cervical cancer ahead on the program. So the breakfast, please stay with us.